take it a minute. Come on, come on, come on.
Samuel chapter 11, verses 26 through the twelfth chapter, down through 13a. I'm going to be reading the Old Testament, 2 Samuel 11, 26 through 12, 13a. And as soon as I finish reading, lay servant Lisbeth Edna is going to read the gospel according to John 6, 24 through 35. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 24 through 35. Go ahead and make preparations. I'm reading from the King James Version. Everything's going down. But the Word of God, 2 Samuel 11, chapter, started at verse number 26. And when the wife of Uriah heard that Uriah, her husband, was dead, she mourned for her husband. Yes. And when the morning was past, David sent and fetched to his house, and she became his wife, and bare him a son. But the thing that David has done displeased the Lord. Yeah. Going on into chapter number 12. And the Lord sent Nathan, talking about Nathan the prophet, unto David. And he came unto him and said unto him, There were two men in one city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had his seed in many flocks and herds. But the poor man had nothing, save one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nourished up. And it grew up together with him and with his children. It did eat of his own meat and drank of his own cup, and lay in his bosom, and was unto him as a daughter. And there came a traveler unto the rich man, and he spared to take of his own flock and of his own herd to dress for the wayfaring man that was come unto him. But took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man that was come to him. And David's anger was greatly kindled against the man. And he said to Nathan, As the Lord liveth, the man that has done this thing shall surely die. The man that has done this thing shall surely die. And he shall restore the lamb fourfold, because he did this thing and because he had no pity. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thou art the man. Glory to God. Just said the Lord God of Israel, I know that thee came over Israel and delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's wife unto into thy bosom and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things. Wherefore thou hast despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight. Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with a sword and taken his wife to be thy wife. And hast slain him, uh, slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thy house. Because thou hast despised me, and taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house. And I will take thy wives before thy eyes, and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of this son. For thou did it secretly, but I will do this thing before all Israel and before the son. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Amen. Thus I have read 2 Samuel, the 11th chapter, starting at verse number 26, went all the way through the 12th chapter, verse number 13, but only the A portion of that verse. May the good Lord add a blessing to the reader, the hearers, and most definitely the doers of his said word. To God be the glory. Amen. So come on, Sister Ismail. John Gospel. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good morning. Good morning again, friends. I will be reading to you John the sixth. Please stand. Those who are able, would you please stand? I will be reading this morning the New Testament, John, the sixth chapter, 24 through 
through the 35th verse. And it reads as follows. When the people there full saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they also got into the boat and came to Capernaum, seeing Jesus, seeking Jesus. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered and said, Most surely I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for food which perish, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you because God the Father has sent his seal on him. Yes. And they said to him, what shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God that you believe in him who sent. Therefore they have said to him, what sign will you perform then? Jesus. That we may see it and believe you. Mm. What work will you do? Our Father ate the manna in the dessert, as it written. He gave them bread from heaven yes. to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Most surely I said to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father gave you the true bread from heaven. Yes, yes, yes. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven, yes. gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. He who believes in me shall never thirst. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let's be God. Okay, no, you didn't seek after me. You didn't follow me, Jesus said, because you saw the miracles. You followed me because of the physical, the physical bread. But you need to be interested in the eternal bread. Because Jesus Christ is a bread of life coming out of heaven. Amen. That's what we need to be interested in. Glory be to God. Choir, we're going to have a selection from you. And after that selection, we're going to hear the word of God from none other than our own pastor, the Reverend Ernest Dugger Christ. Oh, we're still in the spirit, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're still in the spirit. We're still moving. Come on. Yes.
When people live to be very old, let them rejoice in every day of life. But let them also remember there will be many dark days. Everything still to come is meaningless. First time I'm talking to the young people now. Young people. It's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in. But the last part of that verse, but remember. Lord have mercy. Somebody say, but remember. That you must give an account to God for everything. You must give an account. Life, Solomon says, is sweet. In other words, my brothers and sisters, when God opens your eyes every moment, that's an amazing thing. Am I right about it? When God sees fit to go wherever you are and touch you with his finger. And you get up in the morning, that's a hallelujah time. Am I right about it? And so that's what Solomon is saying. You see, Solomon is, is not so much of a pessimist uh, that he encourages us. He wants us to, to rejoice in every day. But remember that eternity is far longer than a person's lifespan. Solomon says, let them also remember there will be many dark days. My brothers and sisters, we just got through talking to you, giving you an illustration about the storms out there on the water. And, and, and you must again, as I said, you must remember that every single second of every single minute of every
because you come to church on Sunday wearing your nice outfits but trying to cut somebody out before daybreak. Who in the world do you think? Who in the world do you think? That's what Solomon was telling the folks. He said, listen to me. I want you to enjoy yourself. But remember, you will have to give an account for everything you did. If you've done something If you try to mess up somebody's family, you better take it back. If nobody can tell you anything, you better get on your knees and ask God, Lord Jesus, help me out. I beg you in the name of Jesus to take this back from me. Yes, he wants you to live. Yes, it's good for you. He wants you to be alive. But the difference in that, but it's best to live. Now, what do you mean, preacher? It, it means the, the most powerful commandment there is. Love the Lord your God with all in your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. I don't know about you, but you know, I kind of watch church folk. There's a difference, you know, in church folk and Christians. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. You see, you see, you see, church folk. <laughs> Look at you when you come to church on Sunday. Look at to see what, what you got going on around you. And if they don't see you in church, they, 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 they want to find something to tell somebody else about you. But Christians, if Christians miss you in church, they're going to get on the phone and say, Sister, brother, I haven't seen you in a little while. Are you all right? That's the part. But it's best to live. You can't live when you're Now, 
brothers and sisters, please, please, do me a favor. Learn how to forgive better. Because remember, you messed up one time too. The scripture says we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Did the scripture say that? So that's what we got to be careful, be careful, be careful. Hallelujah. And do me a favor, and I'm praying hard for this, that, that you won't leave this beautiful edifice right here feeling like you felt when you got here. Come on. I'm praying for the power of prayer to rain down on you. It's good to be alive. But it's best to live. Because when you live, you start treating people better than you used to. When you live, you can go to the doctor and don't worry about what the doctor says. Because you already know it's going to be all right. When your money looking a little funny, you ain't worried about it because when when you go to the bank, you look at it in amazement. Lord, I didn't know I had so much in the bank. Lord, oh. supply all of your needs. It's good to be alive. But it's this to live. In the name of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let this body of believers say amen. 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 Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Who's that?
Yes, yes. Let us, let us look to Jesus, our Lord. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Lord, I once was lost. But now, thank God I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Precious Savior, who is still our refuge. Father God, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to you now. Falling prostrate with our head bowed. To say, Lord God, we don't even have enough words to tell you how grateful we are. Even 10,000 tongues wouldn't be enough. But Lord, we simply say thank you. Thank you for life, dear God. Lord, help us to understand it's good to be alive. But it's best to live. Lord, we thank you for our sick and our shut-in members. Those that we know about, those that we don't. Especially cover Brother Easton Jones and his brother. Brother Jim, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you said in your word that by your stripes we are healed. So I'm claiming victory now over those two in particular, dear God. Lord God, our children and youth went back to school this week. Lord, it was such a wonderful time. Continue to let your love light shine on them throughout the school year, along with their teachers and their parents. Oh God, we give you all the honor. Lord God, we give you all the praises because you so richly deserve. Lord God, we thank you for the fact that our eyes were open this morning. We thank you that we were able to walk around the house this morning. We thank you that you allowed us to clothe in ourselves in our right mind. Lord God, whatever it is that's been plaguing some of us here around this altar, in the name of Jesus, you already know what to do. Lord, we know that while we struggling to figure it out, you already done it. We say thank you, Lord. And Lord God, help us to understand it's good to be alive, but it's best to live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let this body of believers say amen. 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 If you love him, if you love him, give him a hand clap. Amen. Speak to somebody before you leave. Speak to somebody before you leave. Let them know how much. Let them know, let them know, let them know how much you love. Come on, somebody. Let them know. Speak to somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Amen.
body of Christ is given for you. Take it and eat it. The blood of Christ is given for you. Take it and drink. And do this in remembrance of me. And be thankful. Ushers, when you come down to retreat. Pray with the closing prayer on page 11. Let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for the joy and mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of the Spirit. Give ourselves our others in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I love you.
They're asking us for our support. The church family received a thank you card, and it's coming from Lakeisha Graham Presley. She's thanking the church for your calls, prayers, thoughts, and other acts of kindness while she was ill. We also received a thank you card mm -hmm. from Lydasia Scott. And she said, she says to her cousin Carolyn Neesmith and an uncle Cleveland Dolores Presley and the French United Methodist men. As soon as soon she'll begin her new journey heading to college, she promised to keep God first, stay focused, remember why, what she's there to do, and to make everyone proud. Leasia is the daughter of Dottie Scott and the granddaughter of Hester Scott. She's asking us to remember her in our thoughts and prayers as she starts her college journey. Amen. Immediately following service, we will have a sweet treat donated by Sister Lakeisha Presley and Anitra Presley. They are asking you to stop by the cafeteria or by the kitchen on your way out for a sweet treat to cool you off. Amen. 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 Demonstrating love in action. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Now, we haven't had any announcements, but we all know what's going to happen next month on the first Sunday. It's homecoming. That's not new. We all know. We celebrate homecoming the first weekend in September. Amen. Now, more information will be coming about homecoming on next Sunday. However, your asking is $100 for adults and $20 for children and youth. But however, however, if the Lord has blessed you and you want to give more than $100, they will gladly take more than $100. But we are asking each member, and each member to ask a friend or a family member to please give generously to our homecoming efforts on the first Sunday in September. Although we're late, it's up to us to make our homecoming great. Right. We can do it. Right. It's not all just about money, but it's, we need to raise some money, but we need to come together and praise God and thank God for all the many years he has blessed for the United Methodist Church. Amen? Amen. So we're asking you to please do your best on the first Sunday in September for our annual homecoming. Amen? Amen. And now, we're going to recognize our August birthday. Bernie McQueen here. Oh, he's not. I just want you to know his daughter makes sure you know how old he is. Bubby is 81. <laughs> and Shalit makes sure we know he feels no bad. But he's a good looking 81. Amen? Amen. Celebrating this month. And my daddy's 74. He'll be 74. He, he, he don't want you to know that. I don't know how old he thinks he is. If I'm 52, he's 74. <laughs> Birthday to Burry McCray, Deborah Burgess, Chadson Cooper, Elliot Presley III, Jaguan Julius, Sandre Davis, Trayvon M. Presley, Edwin J. Scott, Erwin T. Scott, Andre Commander, Mary S. Neesman, Aldo Brown, Cassandra Presley, Earlene Presley, Reginald T. Williams, Jim Jones Jr., Carnesha McCray, Ella A. Neesman, Dolores N. Preston, Hester Scott, Harry Cooper, Ashley R. Nolan, Reginald Montgomery, James S. Cunningham, Breon Davis, John Trey Davis III, Lily Neesmith, Beverly Chandler, Beery C. Fleming, Clifton Cooper, Jakiah A. Presley, Sunita P. Swinton, Shimon Z. Neesmith, Amanda C. Presley, Brayon Austin, Stacy Neesmith, and Tracy Neesmith. Please say, oh, and Gregory Cooper.
our anniversaries. I call you and you may stand. Harry and Loretta Presley, Joseph and Carolyn Lee Smith, Pete and Rondell Montgomery, Joseph and Marvin Har Martha Harvin, Andre and Nicole in Commander, Arthur and Lori Miles. Oh, and Greg and Jocelyn Cooper. Okay, well, you will you handle it till we make change. 
All right? You have to do that too. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think, I think, I think that's it. Don't forget, make sure your forms are turned in to the administrative office uh, for charge conference uh, by the 15th of April. Uh, there will be some changes made for the coming year, and we'll be talking with those individuals uh, very, very soon. August. August 15th. Is that right, Ms. Perkins? Yes, sir. Yeah, August 15th, because charge comes in September what? 8th. 8th, okay. Yeah. All right, 3 o'clock. All right. All hearts and minds are clear. Let us stand. Let's have our closing. Let's join together as we sing the threefold.